What's going on, everybody? Sparky Dice Nine One coming, guys. Another video coming to you guys from my Eagles Raiders Week Seven preview. Eagles coming to this game after a um, Thursday night um, a football loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Coming into this game with a two and four record. Needless to say, that this right here is a game that the Eagles definitely need to win. The um, Las Vegas Raiders coming to this game um, after a win last week. The Raiders are, um, no, they beat the Denver Broncos, um, you no know, division game last week. Raiders coming to this game, of course, following the um, scandal that caused their previous head coach John Gruden to to resign from the um, from the Raiders. But this game right here, man, plain and simple. It is, it is most definitely a must win by the Eagles. The Eagles are sitting at two and four. They are quite, you know, they are behind the Dallas Cowboys, you know, by a considerable margin right now. And um, if I'm not mistaken, the Eagles are sitting right now, currently in third place in the NFC East. Only team that's below them is the New York Giants. So, Eagles have to go on a um, a stretch of winning right here. The, the toughest part of the schedule is will be over after this Raiders game. They start having some easier opponents, so the Eagles have to take advantage of it. Eagles received some good news that um, right tackle Lane Johnson is back after missing the past couple weeks for personal reasons. Um, tackle um, Jordan Mulata will also be back in this game. So that is most definitely a um, huge boost for the Eagles offensive line, which, you know, at times has has been a bright spot, but also at times has been a weakness. So to get two starters back on that old line will be absolutely crucial for the Eagles in this game. I told you guys in my um in my schedule prediction video that I I predict the Eagles are going to lose this game. I am not changing that position. The Eagles have to uh, prove me wrong with their play on the field. I got the Eagles losing this game by a score of twenty four to seventeen. No, the Eagles, um, the past few weeks has just been absolutely frustrating to watch. Nick Cerrone does not like to run the football. I am, you know, I'm, I'm sure all Eagle fans feel the same way I feel. We are just beyond frustrated with this. We got two very good running backs in Miles Sanders and uh, Kenny Gainwell. I hope, I, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I am praying that, you know, this, um, you know, these 10 days of preparation, Nick Cerrone has reevaluated his offense and that we see this team, you know, a different approach offensively by this team this week. Um, I know he has had to hear Eagle fans, um, you know, calling for him to run the football more. You know, I, you know, I feel like he puts, uh, he, I ain't, ain't, ain't just by feel like, it. I think the majority of Eagle fans would agree with me that he puts our young quarterback at Jalen Hurts in bad positions where he has, you know, where he has Jalen Hurts throwing the ball 40, 50 times a game. A second-year quarterback who is virtually a rookie should not be throwing the football that many times a game. So the keys to victory in this game are plain and simple. You know, we got to get the running game going. Miles Sanders should not be only touching the football one time in the a, in a, in a first half. That's ridiculous. He should not be touching the ball less than five, no, only five times on average a game. Give this guy, he is our feature back, give him the ball fit, at least 15 to 20 times a game. We have to run the football. We have to make the um, the opposing defense respect our running game. Right now, our offense is so predictable. These defenses know exactly what we're going to do. And, you know, these stupid screens and just constantly being out of the shotgun, it's not working. These constant RPOs are not working. We have to get the running game going, make their defense respect our running game. I cannot stress that enough. Get the running game going early, and that will open up things in the passing game. Now, when it comes to tight ends, obviously Zach Ertz is no longer a member of the Philadelphia Eagles. He is now with the Arizona Cardinals. Dallas Goddard, this is now his job as the number one tight end. Um, I, be, I heard that he did not practice him. In, um, that he did not practice um, today, so the so it's a big question mark whether or not he's going to play on Sunday. But if he doesn't. You know, we, we, you know, we brought back, um, you know, uh, Rogers. We brought him back. You know, it, it's next man up. Richard Rogers is back. It's next man up. It's that simple. Get that running game going. Make the Raiders defense respect us. That gets the, that gets the play action pass going. We got, we got so many weapons on this offense, so much talent, young talent potential. 
we you know we, we gotta win this game. It's that simple. We cannot afford to fall to two and five in a division right now that the Cowboys with a five and one record are running away with. We had to make up some ground, take advantage of the fact that the Cowboys got a bye week. We gotta we gotta try to make up some ground in this division if we're gonna have any chance of making the playoffs because only one team only one team from this division is going to the playoffs. And if the season ended today, it would be the Dallas Cowboys. So if we're going to make up any ground and save the season, we have to uh, turn things around this week and get a winning streak going. Now, defensively, got to get the pressure. Now, you know, one, one of the bright spots it has been is, you know, a poor, is our defensive line overall, man. They have been pretty darn good when it comes to getting pressure, especially uh, Har um, uh, Hargrave. Hargrave has balled out, balled out this year. So, got to get the pressure. Got to get in Derek Carr's face. If we get in Derek Carr's face and force turnovers, then I like our chances to win this game. But pressure, continue pressure on Derek Carr, getting to his face, you know, taking him out of his game early, rattling his cage early. And this is, you know, this is definitely a game that is winnable for the Eagles. It's being played in Vegas, you know, it's being played in their environment, but it's definitely a game that we can go in there and steal the victory. I, I do believe in that. I do believe that we can steal this victory. This is definitely a team that we can most certainly beat. But it's going to come down to execution, stopping the penalties, because the penalty, we are the most penalized team in the league. Got to stop the penalties. So it's going to come down to discipline, plain and simple. We got we to gotta score touchdowns, stop, you know, Stop shooting ourselves in the foot with penalties. You know, take advantage. You know, play discipline, play discipline, hard football, and we can win this game. I'm picking the Raiders to win it by 24 to 17 because on paper they are a better football team than us. But it's definitely a team. It, this is definitely a team that I feel confident the Eagles can beat. It's just all going to be about what Eagles team shows up. If the good Eagles team shows up, then this is a game we're going to win. If the bad Eagles team shows up, which has showed up most of this season, then we're going to lose this game. It's that simple. But, you know, Eagles got to prove me wrong on the field. They have to prove me wrong on the field with their play on the field before I start picking them again. Because the following week, we got the winless Detroit Lions. And with the way the Eagles have been playing, I'm not, I'm not going to call that a lot for victory because... Who the hell knows? We may get the Lions their first victory of the season because I don't see the Lions winning this week anyway. I think the Rams are going to blow them out. But they may, we may be the team that gives the Lions their first win of the season. It's that, you know, that, that's a scary thought, but we, we have given in the past teams that were winless or only had one or two wins. We, you know, we, you know, we were one of the teams that they beat. So I, nothing for me right now, nothing is a guarantee. No, no game is a guaranteed win. You know, based on what I'm seeing from the Eagles. So I'm hoping that with their play on the field that they prove me wrong and they go out there and get the job done. But like I said, man, got to get the pressure on uh, Derek Carr. Got to force him into mistakes. He got, he got one of the best tight ends, one of the most underrated tight ends in the game in Waller. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Waller. You know, that's one of the most underrated tight ends in the game. Got to make sure that he is accounted for at all times. Secondary is definitely going to have a challenge for them this week. You know, the, the, um, the, the Raiders got some pretty solid receivers. So, we'll see, man. We'll see. We will definitely see. You know, I, I want this win. You know, you know, we're, you know, like I said, we're 2-4. and four. We need to win this game. Not just this game, but we need to go on a win streak here to make this division, to, to open up things in this division. Because, you know, right now the Cowboys are running away with it. So, we'll see. We'll see. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take all three sides of the ball. Offense, defense, special teams. It starts with the big men up front, the trenches, offensive line, defensive line. If every if everybody comes in, they execute and do their job, then it's definitely a game we can win. We got great news. Jordan Malata and um, Lane Johnson are back. Very good news. Very, very good news. But it's going to come down to execution. It's going to come down to discipline. And um, Nick Serrano has got to swallow his pride, put his ego aside, and start running that football. Stop being so one-dimensional. Stop being so predictable. Hell, get up, give up, give up the pad, the play calling, because clearly what you're doing is not working. So you know, we we, we gotta we gotta call a good game here, and we get we gotta stop being one dimensional. So we'll see. No, we'll see. We had ten days to prepare for this game. Are we gonna get the same Eagles team that we got for most of the season, 
or we're going to get a different team, a, 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 a new team with a new attitude, a more focused and determined to win team. Only time is going to tell. This is a this is a late afternoon game, you know, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern, I believe it is. So this is a this is a this is a prime time game. Let's go out there and uh, establish a new you know culture for the Eagles. Show that you know this team has uh, rebounded from the first uh, few weeks of the season, and that and that they're starting to get their act together. Let's show them that on Sunday. Once again, I am picking the uh, Raiders to win by a score of um, 24 to 17. It's being played in Vegas, but it is most definitely a game that the Eagles can win. The question is, do they want it enough to get the job done? I guess we're going to find out that on Sunday. But anyway, man, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. As always, go Birds. I'm always going to love my Birds regardless win or lose. It's been a rough season so far, but there's still much more football left to be played. The, the Eagles can still turn this thing around, but they have got to get their act together. No, we're, we're in crunch time now. And the schedule, like I said, is, is going to be more favorable towards us in these upcoming weeks. But for me, nothing is a shoe win. Nothing is a guaranteed win for us at this point. We have to go out there and take it. We'll see what they do this Sunday against the Raiders. But like I said, man, all three sides of the ball, offense, special teams, defense have to show up. Have to be, uh, everybody has to do their job. You know, defense has got to clean up some things. Uh, D-line has got to get the pressure force Derek Carr to mistakes because Derek Carr is one of those guys that he is definitely, you know, he's definitely uh, one of those guys that if you get pressure on him, he's prone to make mistakes. So if we can get pressure on him, if we can take away their running game, if we can take away their passing game, you know, just a solid day on defense, a, a, a much better performance, good day on offense, then this is a game we can definitely win. It's definitely a game that's in our hands of winning. But we'll see what happens. As always, go birds. Spunky 991 is out of here. Flag will fly. Peace.